Most states require foreign corporations transacting business in that state to obtain a certificate of authority. But whether a foreign corporation's activities in a state are equivalent to transacting business is not always clear. In Harold Lang Jewelers Incorporated v. Johnson, the court considered at what point a foreign corporation's activities rise to the level of transacting business. Harold Lang Jewelers Incorporated was a Florida corporation. In 1999, Lang brought suit against Jerger Johnson in a North Carolina state court, claiming that Johnson owed Lang for jewelry that Lang sold or consigned to Johnson. Johnson moved for summary judgment, arguing that Lang couldn't sue in North Carolina because Lang was transacting business without holding a North Carolina Certificate of Authority, as was required by North Carolina law. Lang argued that its dealings in North Carolina weren't sufficient to constitute transacting business in the state. To establish that Lang was transacting business, Johnson presented evidence showing that Lang's employees sold and consigned jewelry to multiple stores in North Carolina. The employee traveled to the state several times per year, selling, consigning, and delivering jewelry without needing any approval from Lang's out-of-state officers or employees. The employee shipped items to North Carolina and accepted returns from North Carolina customers. Based on those facts, the trial court concluded that Lang was transacting regular, continuous, and substantial business in North Carolina, thus requiring a certificate of authority, which Lang never obtained. The trial court therefore dismissed Lang's lawsuit, holding that Lang wasn't entitled to file suit in North Carolina courts. Lang appealed to the North Carolina Court of Appeals, arguing that the evidence was insufficient to establish that Lang transacted business in the state.